Montreal has contributed a lot to the world in terms of cuisine. And one of the things it's most famous for uh, is bagels. Montreal bagels are a little smaller, chewier, sweeter, denser than their New York counterparts. And they're so good to eat by themselves, you don't even need schmear, uh, which is a concept that is foreign to me. Now, in Montreal, there are really two standout bagels uh, that everyone says are the best. One is called Fairmount, and the other is called St. Viatour. Fairmount's on Fairmount Ave, and St. Viatour is on St. Viatour Ave. Um, what I think we're gonna do today, as a exclusive for you jazz fans, is we're gonna get bagels from both um, and do a little taste test. So we're stopping first at uh, Fairmount. This is where we're in front of right now. We'll try one of those, and then we'll head down to St. Viatour and uh, see which one comes out on top. The ultimate bagel competition 2019. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the inside of Fairmount. We want to get a couple bagels, do a taste test, see what shakes out. Here you can see we've arrived at the Maison du Bagel, St. Viateur. We're gonna see uh, which bagel comes out on top. Let's head in. Well, we have settled into a park for what will become the great Montreal Bagel Challenge for the 2019 Montreal Jazz Fest. Um, we'll start off with, on my left, in the left corner, Fairmount Bagels. Hot and fresh right off the line. And to my right, St. Viator Bagels. Now, I decided to go with a sesame bagel. Sesame bagel is kind of like the quintessential Montreal bagel. I don't know why it's not plain, but uh, this is what's at the top of every menu. Ooh, this is still hot. Um, this is what's at the top of every menu, so I decided to go from sesame from both, just to keep it fair and not play any favorites. They're both still warm, fresh off the oven. They, they cook them in big, like, brick ovens, uh, so they're kind of like fire baked or something like that. Anyway, we'll start with fair mount, and uh, we'll give it the one silver. Nice density, good crust. Nice and shiny. Certainly smells good. We'll rip off a little piece and let the taste test begin. Mmm. Great texture. Nice, almost crisp outside. And then the inside just melts in your mouth. It's so fluffy. Mmm. It's nice and sweet. They must add honey or molasses or something like that. And there's just a hint of smoke from that that uh, brick oven. Mm. Really, really good bagel. Um, great way to start off. We're gonna head over to the uh, Saint Viator now. This one's a little thicker, a little browner. It kind of has a denser, crispier crust. Ooh, there's a nice crackle as I rip into it there. And I apologize for the loud cars in the background, but. Let's try this out now. Okay. Breadier, a little heavier. More gluten-y, if that makes sense. There's a really clean sweetness. Um, so with the other Fairmount Bagel, I was picking up a lot of honey. This I'm just getting like a nice sugary sweetness. Really nice crisp and the sesame seeds also add so much to the texture. Mmm. That's another really good bagel. But for my money, that's just one man's opinion. Um, so you can feel free to debate amongst yourselves in the comments section. The winner for Montreal's best bagel is drum roll, John Coltrane, please. Fairmount. I really like this Fairmount bagel. Uh, I don't know, the flavor's just, uh, uh, everything's a, a little more, stands out just a bit more. The sweetness of the honey, the smokiness of the oven, 
It's a really nice texture, not too doughy, not too chewy, so. Mm. Okay, just one man's opinion. I'm sure lots of you will beg to differ, but um, I'm going with the Fairmount Bagel. Thanks for checking out the, the great uh, Montreal Bagel off of 2019, everyone. Um, be sure to follow along my other videos where we recap, recap my stay at the uh, Montreal Jazz Fest. So long.